Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I really got back into this YouTube stuff and dropped a video. And um, I just want to come back. I got some new sneakers on the way. I have one here next to me right now, as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video. Your boy had COVID, so I was fucked up in the crib for a while, but I'm back now. I'm good. I'm trying to get back into Florida things, get you guys these videos that you guys been wanting. A lot of you been DMing me on Instagram, I'm talking about, yo, what happened, bro? Like, you fell off. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody fall off, man. I've just been sick. But I'm good now. I'm good. So, um, make sure you guys are wearing your mask and uh fuck covid just make sure you guys are wearing your mask and just try and stay out the way because this covid this covid shit it ain't no joke man like i was in the crib fucked up for a minute bro yeah let's let's get straight into the sneaker review wow all right so here we got the air jordan 4 we got the jumpman logo on the front with the flight underneath with the og you know jordan 4 box colorway on the box uh, i got a size 9.5 right here it says white fire red black tech gray so well, I believe back in 2012 on the Jordan 4 Fire Reds that released back in 2012, um, I think the red, the red colorway on the sneaker was a Varsity Red, and these ones are Fire Red. That's why the Jordan is called Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. But um, most of y'all probably knew that already. I don't know. There's a lot of you that, that watch my videos that don't even like sneakers, but y'all just like watching my videos. I don't know. But um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. But let's take a look at the sneaker. Here we go. Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Before we get into this review, I just want to let you guys know these sneakers released two weeks ago, two Saturdays ago, and um, there's a lot of like defects on a lot of pairs that we had in my store. Work at Channel Sports. I don't know if you guys know that or not. That's how I was able to get my hands on these. Uh, we ended up getting them, and you know, uh, like 20% of the staff can get a pair of these, and I was one of the 20%. So I ended up getting my hands on a pair. Back to what I was saying, like I was saying, um, there's a lot of pairs that had defects on them. I don't really see one on this pair, but I'll just give you guys a 360 of the shoe. Hey, Nathan, you made this? I don't really see any on this pair, but I was watching Bully RC on YouTube, and I know his pair right here, where the black connects to uh, the red, right there, it was like a little gap, and it was like just, I think it was glue, or it was just the black wasn't filled in all the way, so it just like, I don't know, it made the sneaker look really messed up, but that's that's kind of what you get when uh, sneaker production is really high on a sneaker that's releasing. Luckily, my pair didn't have any defects like that, as you can see. There are glue stains right here, but that's not really much. I can actually pick that off if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it there. And um, going to the hill of the shoe, here we have the Nike Air. That's something that I really love about Jordans. When they put like the OG Nike Air on the back of the heel tab, it's just really cool to me. Like, it's better than the Jumpman, in my opinion, but you know, a lot of people have different opinions but my Nike here that's just you know that's that's the vibe I like on my Jordan 4s but this is actually my second pair of Jordan 4s first pair of 4s I've actually bought in my entire life it's a black cat 4s and I got those last year I think it was around the same time I know the prices on those went up tremendously like crazy and honestly no one even thought that those were gonna do that because it was a triple black sneaker but I always had a thought like you can't go wrong with triple blacks that's why I bought them because like you can literally wear it with anything like I come on I can wear it with this right now with some black pants and then look, just throw them on feet but yeah Shout out to Champs. I got this where I worked at. 50% off discount. I got this for 50 bucks. But yeah, shout out to Champs. I love y'all. Hopefully, we can do like some sneaker deals or something like that in the future. Like they can sponsor me or something like that. I don't know. We'll see if that comes. Probably because I work there, they won't do that. But we'll see. A few minutes later. What's good, G? What's good with you? Not much. What you want? He, he ain't here. He he uh he just went to go visit his mom. But hey, let me see that hoodie you rocking real quick, man. Show show the YouTube real quick. Oh yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, let me let me let me see the hoodie you rocking. Check it out. Check it out. He got he got a drop coming soon. Wildlife by Don Leon. Make sure y'all go check him out. Link in the description. All right, bet. It's the first time this sneaker has released. It's been eight years. If you guys are trying to resell these, I would say just wait. Just wait about like a year or a couple years and these will honestly skyrocket. Like I said, these haven't, these haven't been released since 2012. So just wait. So if you can, just wait it out. Or if you want, you can just rock them. That's what I've been doing. I've been I've been wearing mine. And then I have this pair. Uh, I'm going to be sitting on these. And then I'm going to try to pick up a couple more pairs so I can get um, things rolling for the sneaker store that I'm trying to bring to the city. And... Um, we should uh, 
we should be we should be rocking. Taking a look at the taking a look at the tongue of the shoe. Here you have just the OG tongue, you know, the jump man with the flight beneath it. Looking on the inside of the tongue, here you have the Air Jordan upside down. And then, and then here you have the black lace tabs with the hint of red on the upper of it. To the bottom of the sneaker, here you have the Nike with the swoosh with the red, white, and then uh, I guess this is the tech gray that they were talking about. Really nice colorway in my opinion. I'm gonna be wearing these a lot. These are probably gonna go in my everyday sneaker rotation. Um, I don't wanna really beat my pair like that, but honestly, I think they might have to get beat. But you know, it is what it is. If you love sneakers, you'll wear your sneakers. I don't wanna just, you know, I got a lot of sneakers over here right now. I'm looking at about 20 pairs. What I'm gonna do is give you guys a 360 at a sneaker, and then I'm gonna get some B-roll for you guys, and then I'm gonna go get this on feet for you guys. I'm actually not gonna do the on feet today because it is snowing. It is snowing outside, so I don't wanna go outside and mess these up in the snow. So what I'm gonna do is get the on feet for you guys maybe in a couple days. So this so this video may be coming out a few days later than I expected. But if you haven't yet and you're still trying to get your hands on a pair, I'm pretty sure there's still some sneaker stores out there that have pairs sitting in the back. You just gotta ask or maybe just uh, speak to the manager, ask them what's going on. Like, yo, you guys have any leftover Fire Red 4s? If they do, they'll let you know and then you guys should be able to purchase them. If not, then maybe they're just holding them for themselves until their next check and then they're gonna buy them. I don't really know. But um, yeah, enough with the blah. Blah, blah, blah. Let me give you guys this B-roll and then I'm gonna give you guys on the foot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, click that subscribe button below. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.